It's been a while. Hey guys. But the analyzer is back. <laughs> Hey y'all, yeah, the analyzer's back. These old bones and muscles was hurting. Inflammation is no joke. But I'm back today because I feel in good spirit. I get to see my friend Sam. Eh, there wasn't that many to pick from, but I picked a few that I like. All right, I got this Phoenix number four. Number three was a good read. The artwork is pretty decent in there. Something worth checking into. The Ultimates, first Native American cover. For Native, first Native American Hawkeye. Had to get it. This ties up all uh, the Green Lantern stories that were going along. It was pretty good. So this kind of ties it up. Then they're going into the next issue. Two of my favorite books right now, Johnny Quest and Space Ghost. I'm lumping them together because they are Hanna-Barbera classics. And I dig what they're doing with both of these properties here at Dynamite. Space Ghost especially is very, very fun. Uh, Johnny Quest is off to a good start too. Um, so Dynamite definitely recommend this. Dynamite is killing it with their I properties. Think so too. They have like the coolest... I think list of IPs. I actually agree. I, know, I really agree with you. Picked from other places. Yeah, they yeah. have a good uh, editorial staff or or board. Whoever's making the decisions there. I would I would completely agree. I I think they're firing on all cylinders. I completely agree. So these are two of the highlights for me right there. Uh, next up, uh, obviously. What is good, Council of Comics? It's new comic book day. These are my picks, and then like once again, it's a later week for me. So probably my pick of the week, and I think it's a Council G, absolute Batman. Yeah, I think that's a Council G. Uh, I'm the only one reading the Elseworlds, but issue five of Gotham by Gaslight, Kryptonian Age. I've been digging this out. Um, What's good, Council? Steve Desario here, full time slave to the man, sometimes comic book artist. Uh, I got some cover picks this week. Most of them cover A's, couple cover B's, all obtainable, no crazy ratios or anything like that. I'm gonna start with Scorched, number 34, Thaddeus Robeck, not super familiar with uh, art. I like this cover though. To one, what's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to episode 118, New Comic Book Day Live. As you can see, I have Phil. I'll be the judge today. Phil's gonna judge today because Joseph could not be here. He was a little earlier, but I was a little late, so. Phil's gonna take the place of judging me today. You know what I mean? And Phil's a good guy, so I'm feeling good about myself. Okay. He might be a little bit more forgiving, hopefully. Um, all right, let's start off quick. A blank. Oh, but what blank is it? It's this book, Terminator. That's like issue number one. Yeah. That's a foil. This is a foil, yep. Right. There's um, a, lot of, a lot of variants that have like a lot of cool foils. A lot of cool ones, 125s, 110s. Um, but I, something tells me I wanna read it but I don't want to get the foil. That's why I got the blank in case I want to draw a Terminator head on the cover. So, okay. Terminator, yeah. right? Terminator, the blank. So. Personal favorite of mine, Gru. Minstrel Melodies. Gru um, I can respect. So Gru, Gru's I respectful. love Gru. Yeah, Gru's respectful. <laughs> He's been around forever too. Yeah. So. Um, and it's just about this character right here, the one that sing he only talks in song. Mm -hmm. So everything he does is he plays a song and he, and he talks. And he's with his daughter on a trip and they're going through like places where Gru has been and they're singing songs about like Gru and stuff like that. Okay. So it's very, very fun. Gru's still out there being dumb. Um, and the last issue real quick, um, people were amazed because they were, they were watching the ruins of a city. Okay. So Gru comes by and he's like, what are you, what are you so amazing? He's like, oh my God, you see these ruins? They're from past days and stuff. And people were making money off of it and stuff. He's like, huh? So he goes to this next town and they're mad poor and they don't have any money. He's like, I know what I can do for you guys. And he starts destroying the place. <laughs> He's like, like ruins. Like... It's going to bring you a lot of people if I ruin this place. <laughs> so, Gru is very, very lovely. I love Gru. Cool. Um, Ken Lashley, all right. Wolverine, giving old school Wolverine vibes. Love this cover. Love Ken Lashley since the image days. Of course, Gabriel Delato, Venom. Love this man's work as well. And my boy, Lino Yu, just a regular A cover. Love this cover, though. What do you think about Wolverine being the uh, For you're talking about the Annihilation thing, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I don't really have strong feelings. It's kind of, you know, I look at it like a alternate universe type thing. They've done everything. Like Action Comics, all in for some Superman. Uh, Batman and Robin, all in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check some of this stuff out. Uh, Fantastic Four, issue number 26, the Halloween special of Fantastic Four. 
Um, I, I've been like a little bit missing the last few issues of Fantastic Four. Yeah, we're gonna look at my X books for the week. Exceptional X Men. Uh, first issue was okay. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's a good cast. So hoping things get rolling on that You're one. Saying it wasn't exceptional. It was not exceptional. Not for me, it mm. wasn't. But it wasn't bad either. It just wasn't exceptional. Awesome. Number five, end of the miniseries. Right here, her and Storm Shadow teaming up, and it might be going against each other. Storm Shadow's got this ultimate sword now. We're gonna see where it goes. This is cover A, cover B, it's pretty cool. And this is the one in 10. Okay. Very nice. This this Scarlet's really cover. good. Final issue, G.I. Joe's coming in November. All right, so G.I. Joe next month, final issue with Scarlet. Yeah, what yeah. Is that? Is the Duke, right? or Duke, Duke uh, uh, Destro, Destro comes out next week, last so it's, issue. It's the last issue of Destro. Yeah, so they're wrapping it up pretty good. Okay. So. We'll see. Uh, moving along. This is only like, what, $6? Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. that's, a, that's $6, probably, one in 10. Like that, that would be like an ultimate the, cover for That's like the same yeah. thing as the Jim Lee. At the Alterniverse. At the Alterniverse. That's That's very doable. Transformers number 13. It was recently stated by Skybound that this book uh, reached over 100,000 copies ordered. Really? And in that's, this day and age, that's big for an independent book. These are kind of considered independent books, even though it's a big property like Transformers. But it's under Image, and yeah. Image is an independent like publisher. They're not. Yeah, and then the storyline, Starscream kind of like got beat up by uh, Shockwave or Soundwave, I mm -hmm. believe it was, and he got thrown down a ditch and he thought that he died. But this is the return of Starscream. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. Starscream is amazing in this. I got the blank. Okay. You draw some turtles on turtles, some Transformers on there. Um, and then they got three regular covers this week. This cover B, pretty cool. I don't know if that's Bumblebee or not. But what is four? Regular covers? What's the other one? Uh -oh. oh, surprise here. Oh, man. <laughs> I can hear a green shirt guy now. Um, this is the C. Okay. Oh, uh, That's a regular cover? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it for you, but I thought that you would have asked for it. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's pretty dope. Thank you. Okay, all right. That's B. The Omega Supreme. C. Very dope. And my goodness. D. You gotta look this one up. I, I don't know why I wasn't on my list. But those are my books, Phil. All right. Uh, I'm gonna check out the blade, the red band blade. So I don't think it needed the poly bag. Just have the mature label on it. Come on. Uh, uh, and I'm also picking up Sentinels, uh, kind of an interesting concept. And I like the writer, Alex Packendale. I think he's done some good Marvel stuff. Uh, so I have hopes for this one. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's kind of a cover. yeah. So I think the Sentinels always have, they're always kind of sitting there at Marvel, waiting for something interesting. You know, and I mean, they have done some interesting stuff, but they're always kind of there, ripe for uh, something creative. Let's get them in a movie now. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, like an actual Sentinels, yeah. not just a head that's going to fly yeah. in, in the danger room. And last up, I'm buying a DC book <laughs> because I know everybody's going to talk about it, and I don't want to be all by myself and not be able to say it's cool or and it you're sucks. Not all in? Yeah, I'm not all in. And, but. I'm absolutely wink wink buying this absolute Batman. By the way, I do like Scott Snyder a lot. Amazing Batman writer, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, met him at New York Comic Con last year. Super cool yep. guy. So definitely shouts out to him. And Nick Dragata, also an excellent artist. Yep, the art inside looks great. I already yeah. love that. I haven't read it, but the art looks good. I love absolute Batman's design. So It's a unique design. It's pretty cool. See. He's big, he's chonky. He's a yeah. chonky boy. Uh, so that's obviously a Frank Miller Dark Knight mm -hmm. throwback. So we'll see. I just... In all seriousness, I'm just not like real excited about yet another alternative DC storyline. Yeah. It's just There's just seems that. like the past ten years, it's like start and stop with all these kind of things. You get a good six months or a year out of it, and then it's like, no, nah, we're just making way for the next thing now. So whatever you thought was going to be cool and was going to last a while, well, sorry, yeah. here's the rug pulled out from underneath you because we've got something else mm -hmm. to sell you because we got to make action figures and. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah, tell him you better? That, that there's going to be a million absolute Batman action figures. Oh, yeah. Todd McFarlane, he's already got this yeah. ready to go. You yeah. know he does. Which is, hey, get, you know, get your bag, Todd. It's fine. And you got to get paid. You know, I understand you're probably broke. Yeah. But anyway, highly doubtful. Anyway, but I am paying money, American money for this. And we'll see how it goes. Specifically American. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying Canadian dollars. Anyway.
Those are my books. Thank you, my brother Steve. Yes, sir. And we'll see you next week. Finally, from Boom, Minor Arcana, no issue number two. That's what I got. What do you think about All In? Uh, real, real quickly, I enjoyed the issue. Um, I think it's a good like jumping on point for DC. Like the uh, the All In special, though, like we said, it was a five dollar issue, and for five dollars, what you got, like we got like Spider Man issue, like nine twenty five wasn't that good, and it was like seven dollars. So uh, I enjoyed it, and I think it's gonna like I, I, I want to see more. So uh, and I like I enjoyed the end of Absolute Power. So it's like you know I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a uh, I thought it was a good issue. Or at least a good like special to get us here and i think it's good that even though it's like justice league unlimited <laughs> which you right which been even used before it's good to see like the justice league is kind of back in the dc universe and they, they, they took like a pause for a while and maybe too long so those are my picks everybody and we will see you next time on council of comics peace so, yeah, the so variants are killing me so yeah the variants... i would probably have like five books yeah if i didn't have the variants so I think that's uh, that's what Joey would, he would even be okay with the the, the Scarlet because that's like a six dollar thing that is yeah. not a, a bang buster. Yeah, so. yeah. All right. So those are my picks. Thank you, Phil. It was good, pretty good picks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Peace. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes?